Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk a bit about your double knitting or rake style stitches. Um, now it, there's a lot of confusion about your cast ons and cast offs for these because sometimes with certain stitches your cast on edge will look like this and then you know it'll just be kind of weird but simple little trick you can do to help you finish that off when you're done. I'm going to do just a simple, I'm going to show you how to do this on just a simple stockinette stitch. It's an easy common one that you don't need to sit there with a card in front of you the whole way and it has just a really full thick finish to it which I'm only doing one strand on a 5 8 inch loom. You may want to use a either two strands if you're going to use this gauge loom or you may want to use a smaller gauge loom. Okay, start with a slip knot, put that on the end. Now I'm not going to make this too big, but what I'll show you is a tip for your cast on edge and how to finish these up. Now the stockinette stitch is just done like this and then you pick up your opposite pegs. Now this is a fun stitch to wear you can actually run two different colors, so your way down could be one color and your way back could be one color, and then it gives it vertical stripes. But once you have one loop on each peg that you're going to be using, take a contrasting string, a contrasting yarn, and put that down. And then go back and fill in all the pegs that you had missed just like that this is what it's going to look like now you're going to take your bottom loop over the top you're going to do this all the way down to the end Make sure every peg is like this. Okay. Once every peg has just one loop on it again, you're going to push that down and you're just going to repeat the pattern until you get your project as long as you want. And you're just going to keep doing that over and over until okay, so it's just got a little, little bit done down here where it's coming out the bottom. So at this point, we're taking those loops from the one side, put them onto that opposite side. We're gonna do this all the way down to the last peg. And then you're gonna push all those down. I'm kind of pulling that to now. At this point is when we're going to do our actual cast off and I'm going to do just the super stretchy. It's a kind of a good all purpose cast off. I just wrap the yarn a couple times around. That way I can work it through. Josh, what you do is you bring the yarn around the front of that first peg. Skip a peg. Pull the yarn up. Go back. Oops. You can go back one peg and pull the yarn down and you're skip a peg pull the yarn up through the bottom and remember to use both loops that's on there go back one peg down and pull to the yarn. your last peg take the yarn up through just like you've been doing and go back one peg take the yarn down and then that last peg take the yarn up again just so that the working yarn is at the end all this up this is what it's gonna look like this was done on a smaller gauge loom so it's not super thick but at this point you're gonna need your crochet hook and we're going to finish up this edge so that it will match your cast off a little better now this had gotten pulled a bit but that'll be okay and all you do is some of these loops will be kind of hard to tell which one to do first. 
it's not going to make a huge difference. You just pick up one of the loops above that blue string and pull it through the loop on the hook. And then you're going to pick up the next one and do the same. And I'll hold it down here. And you're going to do this until you get to the other end. And you want to start on the end opposite of the cast on string. So we're almost down there. Once you are at your last loop, you can take that blue strand or whatever color you use, pull out. You're going to take this cast on strand and just pull it through. And there is your cast on. See, it gave it a nice, even finished look which this one would look better if it was done with two strands or a smaller gauge yarn. I mean, a smaller gauge loom, sorry. But basically you can do this method with any of your rake style stitches. That is how you will do your cast off. That's how you will do your beginning edge. You just do your first, way your first row down, put that strand in, and you do your second row back and just leave that in place until you are completely done. But with any of those, you can use that method. All right, I really hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.